This is a build video of a Piper Tri-Pacer light plane produced by Monogram in the 1950s. This is one of the first fully plastic models Monogram put out. Let's open it up. The parts are bagged. Within the bags, you, you'll notice that the, the aircraft has provisions for doors that open and closed. Comes complete with a, a pilot figure and a hunter. And also a mountain lion to either be hunted or has already been hunted. These features probably existed because the model was aimed at teenagers rather than old adults like current kits. However, the kit may have been re-released to those teenagers who are now old adults. The copyright date on the kit is 1957 to 1967. It may actually be that old. Here is a copy of the ad that was enclosed in the kits at the time. It shows the Tri-Pacer as one of the first kits released. Here are the plans. They're step by step, as well as an exploded view, and they're quite detailed in their instructions. And they continue on to the back. Let's get started. We start by preparing the fuselage halves for assembly. Then prepare the cabin interior parts to go in. We install the interior. The two halves are then joined together. The main landing gear struts are installed. The engine is assembled and the engine mount struts are installed on the firewall and the assembly is painted. I start filling and sanding the seams of the fuselage and other assemblies. The dashboard and the instrument panel are installed through the windshield openings and then the windshield is installed. The wing halves were assembled. The various details and sub-assemblies were assembled into the final assembly. The assembly of the operating doors proved to be beyond my skill level. The left door works fine. The right door is closed and glued because that's the best I could do. The upper cowl of the engine is also a removable part in the kit and it worked fairly well, although it does fall off fairly easily. Time for paint. Here's the finished product. Surprisingly, it's up on its three point landing gear, despite the fact that all the landing gear seems to be in the front of the aircraft, like the bugs that you see with a long tail and their feet all toward the front, like a dragonfly. The, ma the reason that that's possible is that they provide you with a nice little pole to put underneath the airplane to make it work. And a strut. I put BBs in the engine uh, crankcase and in the front cowl but, and in front of the uh, pilot seat, but there is no way you could put enough uh, weight in there to uh, make the plane s sit on its landing gear. Unfortunately, the decals were red and I painted the airplane red, so I didn't put them on. Monogram doesn't tell you the scale of the aircraft. I measured it out and compared it with the actual measurement of the wingspan and figure it's about 134th scale, which is close enough to 132nd to fit in with my collection of 132nd scale light planes. The Tri-Pacer was converted from the previous Piper Pacer. That was a conventional gear airplane, similar to how the Cessna 140 became the Cessna 150 by putting on a nose gear. I think there was a similar conversion of the Ronca Champ. Here's the removable cowl removed. A nice feature, but probably I could do without it. So here the pilot takes a picture of the hunter with his foot on the trophy, the poor mountain lion. The mountain lion is necessary because he's the base to hold up the hunter, so this is the way the pose has to be. Sorry. So that pretty much completes the video of the Tri-Pacer airplane. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again.